an audience will give any play 15 minutes of their time. They're there, they're yours for 15 minutes. And at the 16th minute, they'll decide if they want to go on that journey or not. You said, I love theater for recognizing that everything is something else. That's what makes poetry possible, that everything is something else, because everything is meat for art. And you said, theater is a place of poetry, suggestion, and dreams. Well, I couldn't say it my, better myself, even if I did say <laughs> it. That's the best thing about, about the theater, that the theater is a place of transformation and the removal of a mask. Moss Hart said, uh, brilliantly, he said, a, uh, an audience will give any play 15 minutes of their time. They're there, they're yours for 15 minutes. And at the 16th minute, they'll decide if they want to go on that journey or not. And it was extraordinary that in those first 15 minutes of those plays, will convey the conflict of the play, the central conflict of the play, and the emotional coloration which, which that conflict will take place. What is necessary in those 15 minutes? Well, we don't know. That's why, every, that's why the theater keeps changing. Do you derive inspiration or ideas from watching and seeing the plays? Well, of course, of I see as many plays as I can. I'd love to go to the theater. Yes, I have to learn to li watch a lot of the new technology so I don't get seduced by it and say, oh, it's new, let's use it. Uh, to say, how can, I, how can I use this coupled with less is more? You take your work and you have to turn it over to others, a director, lighting, costume, actors. No, I don't. I'm sharing it with them. I'm letting, I'm letting them into the process. The player I can choose to give up that consent and allow the designer or the costume designer or the casting director to put wherever they want in the play. But you have the right, everything that, belong, that will be on that stage has to have approval of the dramatist. And that's what the dramatist will exist for, only for that purpose. That's what holding the copyright of our own play means. What if a director wants to do this and you don't want him to do that? I would fire them if I've done on a couple of occasions. But you do have disagreements that you discuss and you say There's a difference between disagreements and there's a difference between coming to compromise and understanding where you might be misguided. You have to keep an open mind at all times because it, a, a, a director will say to you, as has happened a few times, saying, would you see this actor? And I'll say, I hate that actor. I really don't like that actor's work. And they said, but I worked with him and this is what I got out of this actor. Will you see him? I say, I understand what you, so I can be convinced it's all about this period of, of auditions and pre-production is the most valuable because you're coming to, you're learning each other's vocabulary. So it's the joy of collaboration and I love that. There are some playwrights who will tr treat their right as a fascistic right and nothing can be changed and they'll, it'll collapse. You said theater has never been an easy place. The fact that a play gets on and even, it's the miracle, that's the miracle. Yes, the pl I mean, everything conspires against, uh, everything conspires against uh, getting a play on. But the competition, mainly to be heard, there's so many valid voices out there, uh, why should mine be heard? All the fact, the negative factors uh, in the theater are, are uh, yes, are, are, are intimidating. As, uh, who was it that said, uh, the theater is a place where you make a killing and not a living. When do you write? Do you have a routine? I get sick if I don't work. I get up, have my breakfast, glance at the paper, and get to work for about four or five hours. And uh, yeah, and that's every day. When you write, do you surprise yourself? I hope so, all the time. <laughs> yes, you, get a, you go and you just say, oh, I didn't expect. I didn't expect that to happen. Thank you.